Yeah, I'm in the same shirt as yesterday. Get over it. What's up, YouTube? Forest here, Hunter here, hanging out in the fish room again. We're gonna give you guys two videos, two days in a row, cause I'm bored. Did some stuffs today. Um, if you can't see right here, quick sun. Whoa! You guys don't get to see that stuff until I actually put out the full DIY how-to. So you just, you just don't get to see it. Hanging out with Hunter. Yesterday he was rocking no shirt. Today we're rocking no pants. That's called the daddy diaper duty. Um, when I gotta change a crappy diaper, the pants come off, and usually the pants stay off because it would require work to put them back on. Um, like I said, did some stuff today. Check this out. Probably look like the crazy guy uh, coming out of Walmart because I bought like eight bottles of sparkling water, which I'm sure has never happened in the history of mankind before. But as you guys know, we're working on some uh, moving bed stuff. Check out our one we've got right here. Um, like I said yesterday, don't make that one. Um, within this week, um, before next whatever day, um, I don't know. we're going to get you guys a full DIY how-to. I've got some stuff that I haven't put together yet. The rest, I've got seven of them basically done. Um, I've got one that I left undone for you guys, and you guys will all get to see all that stuff um, when I do that full how-to video. Pretty cool. I'm excited. Um, the plans in my brain are now translating. Uh, very well. It's it's honestly a simple process and it's something that's very easy to do, which in a way is why I'm so excited about it because this is this is something that everybody out there is going to be able to go out there and do. Easy, easy stuff. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, if you're subscribed, um, by the way, if you're not, click that subscribe button. That means you're new to my videos. So what's up? Um, click that subscribe button. And uh, like I said, if you're subscribed, stay tuned because this week we're going to get a, a full how-to DIY um, moving bed filter cichlid man 09 style pretty cool stuff i'm excited hopefully it turns out as cool as i'm expecting because like i said i'm excited cool stuff hulkamania is doing fantastic had a good day by the way i got my beast hooked up we're actually having a windstorm right now so i've got that's kind of like a backup little power source just in case something happens that'll run my air pump for a little bit charge phones it's got lights on it Pretty cool stuff, um, but yeah, having a windstorm, so power outages are definitely a possibility. Can you? We don't need you in the fish tank. Um, Got to try not to show you guys. One more swipe. Um, check out Mr. Azul right here. He's doing ridiculous. Um, I mean, he's just doing fantastic. What you got, buddy? boop a doop doo doop do But, um... We had a good time today. Good time today. Let's feed some of these um, little little F1 Rio Magdalena umbrifrums. Now, when you say Rio Magdalena umbrifrum, they're all basically from the Rio Mag, um, so it's kind of a general statement. Rio Mag has basically become um, a generic name for umbies, and it may seem like it's a specific name. Whoa, it's a Rio Mag. Basically, all umbies are from that general vicinity. And so when you say Rio Mag, basically what you're meaning is a blue umby like this. Um, there are a different couple variants of blue umbies collected in different locations, but those different locations, I believe, are all in a similar area. You know, genetic diversity is a funny thing. But um, yeah, like I said, Rio Mag has become somewhat of a generic term. Um, it started out as, oh, this is, I got a Rio Mag. It's Rio Mag just means blue on me basically um, it's about as specific as it gets I don't want to say it but uh, collectors have been a little irresponsible in um, how they do things especially with the genetic diversity that you see in umbies because there is a high amount of genetic diversity if you didn't know there is I don't know how many exactly there's quite a few different variants 
at least different locales that have been caught. They do have different looks to them, different body shapes, different tones of blue, different um, structure to their freckling. Um, you know, females look different, males look different. So there's been a bunch of different fish collected, and um, a lot of collectors have just umbrella grouped these fish as real mag umbies instead of. You know, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can get as minute and microscopic as possible and break it down. And This was caught here and this was caught 10 miles away. So I get why they haven't because it's a lot of work to keep track of every single location where you're catching fish. But the more responsible thing, the more responsible thing for them to do would probably be to exact locales because the fish do look different. There are different fish, different locations. My real mags are not going to look the same as your real mags, just like Azul right here. And, and if you would go over to Mike's Fish Room, Mr. Man 316 go subscribe to Mike, by the way. If you go over there and check out his boy, um, Magnus, I don't know why the heck that took me a second, his big beast Magnus, and you'd compare him to Azul, completely different looking fish. I mean, there are similarities. They're blue, but uh, completely different looking fish. And so to say that... You know, both fish are real magumbies. It's a little, it's a little confusing because they're honestly different-looking fish. So that's all about that. I was gonna feed our little real mags. Let's get these guys some small cichlid formula, Southern Delight. These guys just go eight crazy for the stuff. Um, big ones in here are probably about an inch and a half, maybe a little bigger than that. Small ones um, are gonna become food. Uh, so just how it works strongest th survive thrive whatever give these guys a little food they don't get a whole lot lately because they're just these guys are basically just keeping that filter cycled uh, and the tank running there's no real reason to be keeping those fish what do we got so my tip advice for you guys there is a reason this filter pad right here is out of the tank now when you're running these trickle towers like this and you drill all those small little holes in them, you can't see there's a little trash can right there. What can happen if you kind of skimp on maintenance a little bit, and I did, is these little holes right here can clog because your filter is doing a good job and the media is doing a good job at what it's supposed to do. And Hunter will play with that and get water all over my floor because it's still wet. Pulled it out two days ago and it's still wet. But those little holes can get clogged and so... Whatever day I come home, today is Sunday, so I think it was Friday. Came home Friday afternoon, turned all the fish lights on, and then I came back in here, and I, kept, I, hear, I heard a weird noise. And those of you, you know, who have fish rooms know what I'm talking about. You know what your fish room sounds like, and you know when there's something off. And so I heard a sound, and lo and behold, I've got water on my floor over here. My second level of mechanical filtration. Look at this one. in here all he does is cause trouble he's like dad's doing a video i'm gonna make a mess um my second level i actually run two trays of mechanical filtration just a little just a little extra extra um this bottom pad right here because i run two pads in there you have to get the towel out oh my goodness children can't live with them can't do a video without them spilling water on the floor that's a saying right but uh that clogged up with uh, fine debris, like I said, it means my filter's doing a good job, but it means I'm not, in terms of maintenance, cleaned it up, only, you know, a splash of water on the floor, so it really wasn't anything catastrophic, didn't lose any, you know, severe amounts of water or anything, but still, something that happens. Like I said, if you've got a fish room, you know the sounds of your fish room, you know how your tanks are, you know what your fish are doing, so when something's off, usually you can pick, on a, pick up on it pretty quick, especially if it's with something filtration related and all that kind of crap oh wanted to mention we set up our email account so I'm gonna put a link down in the description below with all the other links by the way go subscribe to all the guys on team aquatic support blah 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 get some southern delight foods from those guys over to aquatic support systems like the Facebook page that stuff is down there in all my videos this guy right here how about we put that somewhere else okay I'm doing a pretty poor job of keeping that away from him but there's only so much I can do Right? Maybe. So, in the description down below, there's going to be an email address. If you have any questions for myself, anything, um, hit.
hit up that email address. It'll kind of simplify things. I'll be going through that probably daily. If not, I'm going to be going through that. And then um, I might just do a video or, you know, in a vlog or something. By the way, these are vlogs. Video vlog. You guys get it. Um, uh, I will officially, I don't think I've said it before, but I will officially consider myself an aquarium vlogger. Um, that's, this is what I do best and this is blah, blah, blah. Keep getting off track. So, if you have any questions for me, can be anything. What's your favorite football team? How do you think Russell Wilson's going to do this year? Um, how big do Lumbies get? Anything like that. How many water changes? Anything like that. You can go through, ask the question. The worst thing you can do is ask, and the worst thing that can happen is maybe I don't answer. You know, whatever. But I'm going to try my best to answer any and all questions, and they can be as ridiculous as you want. Um, I've got a pretty wanderous brain, so if you've got anything crazy that you want to hear come out of a guy who can say a lot of words that don't make a lot of sense in a short amount of time, as I do in most of my videos, um, just hit up that email address, and like I said, I'll probably do maybe, like, like I said yesterday, I'm not trying to steal uh, John's idea, but I'm stealing John's idea, it's a fantastic idea, so why not take it, and run with it, I can answer different questions than he can because I'm not bald, right, maybe, um, love you John, love you, but um, yeah, email address will be down there, cyclaban09 at gmail.com, simple stuff, if you don't know how to spell cyclaban09, it's spelled down there, in that region, right next to the subscribe button, hit that button if you're not subbed, what are we at, 11 minutes, we're going to end this video soon, hopefully, um, like I said, we did some fun stuff today, working with, cut my hand, right in the middle of my palm, just a little, just a little cut, nothing big, oh, you want to leave again, Hunter wants to go, bye Hunter, See you later. <laughs> he just waved goodbye to you guys. Let's see if he comes back. That was awesome. Um, there he is. <laughs> Knows how to make an entrance. All right, guys. Enough of me talking. Thanks for watching. Like I said, like three times. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Do videos like this stay tuned full DIY how-to on my awesome new contraption similar to this but different and better on a DIY moving bed filter should be a project that anybody out there can do for around ten dollars so easy stuff should be an efficient fantastic awesome cool something fun to do DIY filtration unit made by yours truly something that I don't think I've seen designed this way before and it honestly should be pretty cool stuff so hit that subscribe button go subscribe to all those guys down there I already said that already so if you didn't do it already do it now because if you're still watching because you like the video then you should go over there and sub those guys because you'll like those guys too right I think we're good check it out that's exactly what a moving bed filter is supposed to do. This will start turning brown here soon. And, um, see you guys later. Oops. Hey guys, if you're still watching this, that means you're awesome. Hunter would like to say thank you for continuing to watch my videos all the way through the end, after the outro, everything. He loves you guys, I love you guys. Code word for today is... What's up? You got some words for YouTube? Where's your belly? Where's your ear? Good job. Where's your nose? Smart kid. Now, can you say cacatea? Oh, finger in the nose. There we go. You gonna say goodbye to YouTube? Say bye-bye, guys. 
Thanks for watching. Here we go. Dad's move. Whoa.